I think it's time for the comeback. I hope you're ready for the. Yeah, I see it's time. Press play on the tape, no rewind. No delay, put it all on the line. Only going up, ain't no room for the climb. Meet me at the top, or you won't ever see me. I'm making dreams come true like a genie. I'm making moves soon, you gon' have to king me. Checkmate, crown, you gon' have to bring me. Let's go. What's going on, everybody? Welcome into the Fantasy Six Pack YouTube channel for the 2023 Fantasy Football Las Vegas pre Las Vegas Raiders T preview. I'm your host, Dylan Clements. Here with me, Michael Plant. <laughs> What's up, my friend? Not much, not much. Uh, probably going to be talking about the most disappointing team in the uh, this division today. But we're going to yeah. be talking about the Las Vegas Raiders. Yes, yes. Let's go. But before we jump into them, I just want to give you guys a quick reminder. Please hit that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. We really do appreciate it. And then head on over to fantasy6pack.net slash plans and check out our memberships, guys. It comes with our award-winning rankings comes with our cheat sheet for fantasy football drafts that'll be out here pretty soon and then you get access to our discord channel which gives you access to ask any of our staff members questions man and we're always there to help you out with anything you need um for your customized leagues anything we're there to help um but without further ado mike what do you say we jump into the quarterbacks for the Raiders, we got Jimmy Garoppolo and Brian Harder. Quite the QB room. It looks uh, reminiscent of the New England Patriots here a few years ago. Um, but <laughs> it does. What do, you, <laughs> what do you expect from Jimmy G, man? He, for one, he's not even cleared Mike from his foot off season. What it was foot surgery, right? I want to say I'm not. Yeah. I sh- yeah. It off season fun. foot surgery, not even cleared. He could. Like he hasn't been paid a dime yet. He could still get cut, but for this, they, uh, they restructured his deal to where all of his signing bonus is now he has to play to earn it because of that injury. So yeah, he, he did not get paid technically from that contract yet. But for this, let's act like he is a starter. Cause that's what their plan is going into season into the season. So if he, with him being the starter week one, what do you think he does with us for fantasy purposes? It, Draftable. Uh, I mean, if you're playing super flex leagues, yeah. But outside of you know, outside of them, he's a QB two floor and ceiling. Not touching him in twelve team redrafts, um, just like we did with Derek Carr. Yeah, man. And in my opinion, he's worse than Derek Carr. And I'm I'm even worried about him being able to sustain these weapons. But we'll get into that a little bit here down the road. But yeah, that would that. That was quick for the I, quarterbacks here, Mike. What are the don't, quicker, don't uh, draft Garoppolo and redrafts? Yeah, yeah, agreed. Let's uh, jump over to the running backs now. Um, and we got Josh Jacobs, Samir Abdullah, Brandon Bolden, and Zamir White. Mike, Josh Jacobs wasn't somebody you drafted last year and you were excited about it. Like, oh man, I just drafted Josh Jacobs in the fourth, fifth, sixth round, wherever you got him last year. Mm-hmm. And then, pow! He puts up a top five fantasy finish last year. It was outstanding for most of the year. Um, do we expect that to replicate in this uh, Josh McDaniels led offense once again, or do we see Amir Abdullah or Brandon Bolden, or maybe the second year guys, Amir White um, eat into that workload this season? I mean, I see him more kind of in the RB six to 10 range for me um, when it comes to rankings. Um, Last five years, there's only been two running backs that have gotten 340-plus carries in a year. Their names are Josh Jacobs and Derrick Henry twice. Mm. So, you know, and Derrick Henry did it in 2020, and he did it last year as well. So, I mean, I I even looked up total touches. Uh, Jacobs led the league in total touches last year with 393 for running backs, 340 carries, 53 receptions. I mean, just an absolute volume-pressed year for him. 53 receptions, Mike. That's yeah. what we wanted Career to high. see from him for the last – since he came into the league. Yep. And uh, the thing is here is he's just not going to get 340 carries again. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so the volume's just not sustainable enough for him to kind of be a top five RB for me. Um, you know, great six to ten option. 
but not top five. So not someone you're really interested in drafting if unless he falls out of the top what eight? Yeah, I mean I'll draft him at RB six. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The way, the way drafts are going this year because wide receivers are so favored, you know, and this is they're just going so early. Like that RB six range, we're talking about like maybe third, early third round, you know, kind of the mid third round ish. So yeah, late second, at, sure. Yeah, maybe you know late second. So I mean, yeah, like, give me two wide receivers or one wide receiver, and then go him. Yeah, yeah, I hear you for sure there. Um, let's go ahead and jump over to the wide receivers. And this one really, I'm worried about these guys here. We got Devontae Adams, who's just been awesome for fantasy purposes for forever. We got Jacoby Myers, Hunter Renfro, Keelan Cole, Philip Dorsett, and DeAndre Carter. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, You're excused. Devontae Adams, Mike, I still see in best ball drafts going around late first round sometimes. I'm not touching him there. Let's say you. Is he being overvalued as, you know, wide receiver six, wide receiver seven? So the volume is there for Adams. Past three years. Now, I know last year was his first year in, in, in Vegas. The past three years, he's been top five in targets for all wide receivers. So that includes last year as well in Vegas with a new quarterback, you know, a new team. And he was still second in targets behind only Justin Jefferson. And that was only by four. So he finished as a wide receiver three last year with that. Now, obviously it's a QB downgrade. Um, So, you know, he's going at the wide receiver six range, which he finished at wide receiver three last year. So six is kind of his ceiling a little bit, you know, kind of in that range. But with wide receivers flying off the board so early in drafts, I mean, that's why I kind of do like him this year, just based on the volume. But here's the thing. He's basically like your brand name Allen Robinson back when he was in Jacksonville. You know, the targets are going to be just straight garbage. Don't watch the game. Just look (laughs) at the box score. Yeah. Yeah. I'm honestly worried. I'm worried about the volume. Uh, You know, I am and I'm not, Mike, if that makes sense, because I'm not sure how much they're really going to be trusting Jimmy to just rip the ball. You know what I mean? And Adams was, and that was something Derek Carr could do, you know, and I just feel like they're totally different quarterbacks. Like he's going from Derek Carr, who would just wing it all over the yard to Jimmy, who's, more of a guy who's going to target like the slot receiver, like the Jacoby Myers in this offense, you know, that's, that's how I feel. I mean, and like, you're not wrong. He's just going to throw underneath. It's just, yeah, it's going to be different volume. It's not going to be the same volume as last year for Devonte Adams with those deep targets, but the volume is still going to be there, but it's going to be more of a Michael Thomas type of volume with your Bruce. Okay. A lot of slants. I hear you. I hear you. But like he, I'm looking at uh, fantasy pros rankings right now. I know it's not the same as like where he's going to drafts, but he's right out wide receiver seven and he's going ahead of AJ Brown, Amon Ross St. Brown and Garrett Wilson. And I think I would honestly rather draft all three of those guys over Devontae Adams. I would take right now. I would take St. Brown. I think the volume for him is going to probably match Devontae Adams because of the suspension with, you know, the wide receiver, yeah. James Williams. So, like, I could take St. Brown over him, but I wouldn't be taking Garrett Wilson or A.J. Brown just because, like, A.J. Brown is competing with uh, Devontae Smith. Mm-hmm. Garrett Wilson is competing with, you know, I mean, not Devontae Smith, but Corey Davis, Brees Hall when he comes back, you know, Aaron Rodgers who likes to spread the ball out. Like Jim, when when we've seen Jimmy Garoppolo play, he funnels his targets to one guy. Yeah. All right. And that one guy I think is going to be Devonte Adams. I hear you. Uh, but real quick, what about Jacoby Myers? I, he saw he led the Patriots in targets last year with like ninety six. Um, he is going to play the slot. Most well, I guess I can't even say that with certainty, Mike, because Hunter Renfro is a slot receiver as well. He's probably um, going to be the outside guy, to be honest. Most, so what more you, than Renfro. Is Byer someone you're thinking about here, maybe with like a round 14, 15 dart throw type of thing? Or is he just someone who you're looking at like, what the hell's the ceiling here if I draft him? 
it is kind of a what the hell's the ceiling here. Um, in, in deeper leagues, you know, 14, 16 teams, all right, take them because you're, you know, kind of going for anybody at that point. You're getting a number two receiver on this offense. Mm-hmm. All right. So with that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a little intrigued. But in your, you know, 12-teamers, 10-teamers, it's just going to be impossible to know when to play him and get sufficient enough fantasy points because this offense is Adams and Jacobs. Yeah. Uh, and it was last year, Adams Jacobs and, uh, you know, a flash of Darren Waller when he was healthy. So, mm-hmm. you know, I, I don't know if the tight ends, you know, and we'll talk about them. I don't know if the tight ends are going to make much of an impact either. <laughs> heard that nice segue, man. We'll just jump right into those tight ends now that you just brought up. And they consist of Austin Hooper, Michael Mayer, who they drafted this year. I like him as a prospect. Um, and then we got OJ Howard who just seems to play for every team now. Um, but, uh, but we've seen Austin Hooper in the past, Mike, when he was with Tennessee, when he's been with other places, we've seen him be relevant at times. Um, Atlanta, Cleveland, does he have streaming appeal? Is he someone who we could possibly throw a dart throw if you totally punt the tight end position? and end the drafts or are you just nah i'm good i mean if you're punting the tight ends i mean you're targeting guys that are trying to get you know 10 plus touchdowns on an offense does it look like any three of these guys are getting 10 plus touchdowns this year well, yeah. yeah your face your face tells me no so <laughs> i'm avoiding these types of tight end rooms in fantasy this year there's no clear number one guy just a bunch of guys i love you know i do like mayor dynasty wise uh-huh. But even him, even him coming out of college, he didn't have like eye popping athleticism. So he's kind of more of, you know, your traditional run blocking, you know, kind of like a yeah. uh, does everything kind of similar to Cole Komet. If I'm like, no, I, I was thinking more kind of like, a you know, Jason Witten type, like yeah, really not fair athletic, enough as well. reliable yeah. hands, good blocker. Um, but as far as, you know, getting a tight end in fantasy, this, I, you know, if I'm avoiding the tight ends, you know, and, and punting them, I'm not getting them here. Yeah. And of course, we're gonna see OJ Howard on red zone at some point this year <laughs> with two touchdowns. Too, and we're gonna be like two why, touchdowns off. Three why catches. is OJ Howard catching touchdowns right now? I'm pretty sure he did that with the Texans last year, didn't he? Where he had a yep. game where he caught two touchdowns or something like that. With like but, three or four receptions. Yeah. Stupid. Yeah. But all right, Mike. Well, that wraps up our uh, Las Vegas Raiders preview. That was a fun one. Um, more of the story is don't draft Jimmy Garoppolo. <laughs> Probably only two I'm drafting is Josh Jacobs and Devontae Adams from this offense. Yeah, yeah, I heard that. Um, but yeah, guys, before you get out of here, please smash that like button. Please subscribe. And please give our uh, our other videos looks as well. We got the AFC East up, the AFC South, and, um, and now the AFC West is going to be up as well. So... Um, yeah, yeah, and then uh, we'll be having uh, next week uh, the NFC... Uh, what is it? The NFC East coming out here with the Cowboys, yep. you know, Commanders, Eagles, and uh, Giants. Yep. And so check that catch, out. You'll catch me on the NFC North here within a week or two as well. So, um, but until then, for Mike, I'm Dylan. We'll catch you next time. Bye bye.